Hi folks, thanks for joining me again, very much appreciated. So today I've got a little lakeside scene for you. I quite like painting lakesides. It's, um, water's always a great subject. Once you get the reflections in and all that, it gives you a chance to really play with the colours. Um, so I've sort of framed this scene with these dark silhouetted trees on either side, looking all the way through the lights to the centre and a little boat there in the distance. So before I show you this one, let's have a look at the colours. So the palette, same colours in the same order. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. They're all Cutman water colours that I use. And then the brushes, always use the large run round snake, number three rigger, and then just a tiny little rigger just for things like the, the I think the, 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 did the boat with that. Pick it off then with some clean water, straight out the jar. And then, um, well, what shall I do? A bit of lizarin, a bit of raw sienna. More raw sienna down there. Introducing a little bit of lemon yellow into it. And then just brush that in either side. Being careful, see, I've left these light areas. Now I'm going to give it a bit of ultramarine and brush in just a bit of that blue sky in there. I'm sort of doing it all the way around that light area just to try and emphasise the light a little bit. Get a bit of blue down the bottom, a bit on this side as well. That's a general background. Now I want to put in a few distant trees right on the horizon line. So I'm just taking a bit of all the three, the four colours I've used so far. And the first ones I'm going to do right at the back. Right at the very back. Just flicking the brush up. Few little reflections down there, I think. There's gonna be a lot of land there, so I'm gonna worry too much about reflections there, scraping in the odd reflection of these trunks that I'm putting in. Just wanna keep it as subtle as I can. Don't wanna go too barmy with those. experimenting and just see what sort of effects I can get. I'm just very very light. I'm hardly touching the paper really. Um, the paper stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull it tight just so that it's flat against the surface so I can continue with the next stage of the painting. So I've just re-clipped it there. So next let's work out. You know, we've got like some trees up there. Brown, bit of ultramarine, big trunk, probably a bit too big that one. Putting them reflections as well at the same time. I know I've got a little paint if I remember. Spring the brush, let's get back to a slightly lighter colour. You know what I might do? Just give it a quick spray, just to loosen everything up a bit. Now I'll leg it down. A little bit of raw sienna down here as well. A little bit of land that starts all the way along there. And I'll come back to that in a bit. For now, this comes down something like that. Let's 
Again, a bit of Pines Grey, just darken some of them sections. She's coming just down there. Back to a light. I want to go back to a lighter colour, so I've just cleaned the brush. Let's go back to a bit of raw sienna. These are just the, the banks that I'm putting in. Just I'll come back to this side in a minute. I'll try to finish off the, the right hand side. Come out a little bit darker. Come back to that in a sec. Just want this a little bit darker as well. Get that flat again. the rigger brush now once a bit of brown a bit of blue quite a dark mix I'm going to put in a big tree now on this right hand side so we're giving something something like that trunk in and then just flicking off a load of twigs and branches and things. Come on off there. Don't know if I'll put any foliage on that yet, I haven't decided. I'm thinking just something just slightly further back. Little things there. Now on this left, oh my God, don't forget the reflection. Now I'm thinking something a little bit, let's just pop that over there. I want to, I want to, I want to take advantage of that light here just by popping some twigs and branches into that. darker I want that to match it
So these are just like little ripples and things and just on the surface of the water. Just trying to give a bit of texture and things to it. Um, it's tempting to just scrape in a little bit of little rock seed in there, I haven't quite decided yet if to do that or not. Those scrapings there haven't quite worked. Well, I'm going to worry about that now, to be honest with you. Um, size this a little better. Can I go up there I think. A bit more water keeps drying out too much. Just take that off the top of the paper. Strengthen that down the bottom down there. a little bit just darken that slightly just starting to silhouette that a bit better against the background make it stand out a little bit more it's just going with some of these and that one there darken some of these So I'll just pause it for a sec then, just have a, a look at it. Um, what I might do, I just want some of these bottom bits to look a little bit darker. So I'm going back in with some of this. Let me fix some of that up like that. Just to loosen the paint up. Again, it's just like flicking a few reeds and things growing. impression that little grasses and things growing just by the water. Um, let's just darken that a little bit more. as well. 
the um, the reflection. Um, I'll just add a bit of this. Right, I, want, I want, just want to put like a little boat in the distance now, just to act as a as a focal point. So I'll just give it a quick dry so my hand doesn't smudge it. brush um, I'm thinking where should we put it so I don't want it right in the middle I don't know if that I'm just gonna put it over here somewhere so I'm just taking out like a triangular shape to serve the purpose of like a, a, a boat sail. It's a shame that's not just a little bit darker because otherwise it would have stand, stood out a bit better. Just about so just put that along there, just to help it stand out a little bit more. Right, I think I think I'm gonna leave it at that actually now. All I'm gonna do now is just sign it down the bottom and call that one finished, I think. Right, let's stick a mount on it and see what it looks like. Here's the finished painting all uh, in its main. So if we go and have a closer look. So the sky started off with a bit of raw sienna, lizarding crimson, then added a bit of uh, ultramarine to it. And then the important thing was to reserve this um, light area down the middle. So there's like our, our light source and I sort of darken the sides a little bit more. It's difficult to see at the moment, but that, that was the general idea. Just brushing from the sides, keep the central region light. Used the same colours to brush in these sort of very faint misty trees on the horizon line. Brushed in the uh, reflections down below at the same time. Then they've got a little bit of raw sienna there acting as a where the landmass starts and sort of sweeps its way around to this tree in the foreground. I darkened it a little bit. I just wanted it to silhouette more against the, the, the lighter background. Again, the tree on the left hand side as well. As you can see, I deliberately wanted to push it into the light there just to get that sort of that, that silhouette. You can see. Also contrast against the, the background trees, scraped in a few trunks there with the fingernail, then just painted over a bit just so that you just get the odd bit of trunk showing through. Just about to see the reflections down below in the water as well. And then it sort of sweeps its way down. Just darken the banks there, just to differentiate between the land and the water. Rewet the bottom area then, because I wanted this to be darker because it, it was just too light. It, it just, there wasn't enough punch to it. So you know these darker sections now really help make the, the, the light show up a bit better. So it was predominantly just a bit of burnt umber and ultramarine, just a brush in sort of dark shadowy section. Flicked up with the height brush as well, just to create these little grasses and, and reeds by the water's edge. And then finally, to show if it was a bit dark it would have shown up a bit better. But you can just about see the, the little boat there in the distance so that's it for this one. i hope you enjoy that thanks thanks as always for watching if you get a chance you can uh, join me over on patreon it's about another 180 videos over on there plus you can post your own paintings as well if you want to showcase some of your work so until next time keep practicing if you've got any questions please ask and i'll see you again soon